Hi friends, it's me. Just here to give you a video tour of the my little spot in Florida. Right now I'm in the shade. About three feet that direction is the sun. Anyway, if you're ready, I'll give you the tour. Okay, well let's get started. That's my humble little abode, my bachelor pad. In some circles it's known as the Peace Creek Pleasure Palace, but I won't go into that. Okay, let's check out the inside. Well, I'm a little out of breath. I just had to climb four steps. Woo. Okay, this is the inside. This is my living room, complete with living room stuff. And this tour will be rather quick because I'm fast at, on my feet. Um, here is the uh, kitchen, camera stuff sofa, the dining room. Let's go back and see what else we have here. Well, here's my refrigerator, stocked with all the necessities. Eggs and milk and Diet Coke and some people refer to them as M&Ms. I re refer to them as nitroglycerin pills because when I feel anything unusual, I eat a whole bag of them. But anyway, we have, uh, oh, looky here. Holy water. Got to have holy water. There's some extra, just in case. All right. Storage closet. It's a shower. Full-size shower. That's nice. This is my restroom. Hey, look. The potty. And the master bedroom. This is where all the fun happens. You can see I've put everything up. Folded neat nearly on the bed. An extra TV just in case. Okay, now we'll go outside. I'll show you around the park. We'll take my car since it's rather hot today. As you can see, I leave a towel over my steering wheel. That makes the difference between first degree burns and third degree burns. Okay, we're off. And as you can see, even though I'm a Floridian now, I'm still a Colts fan, always will be. Um, we're looking at Brangus Street, the street that I live on. But we'll go towards the back first. I won't bore you with the drive. I may pause from time to time. But uh, as you can see back here in the back is very rural cows and donkeys and lots of wild birds my favorite part of the place we're going to turn left away from the entrance of the park just to kind of give you an idea if you've never seen a trailer park before this is probably extremely interesting to you Now, I'm not sure about this here. These are either, either clotheslines or the Peace Creek Cemetery. After all, there are a lot of old people here. Looks like the uh, leftist shirt is a momentum, memento. Now, we're coming up on the clubhouse. This is where we get our party on. Bingo on Friday nights. Poker on Thursday nights, 
Texas Hold'em if you like. That's the laundry room right here. Anyway, lots of good times to be had. Now we'll move forward. Okay, as we make our turn here, you can see this is the entrance or exit. Only one way in or out. Kind of like the Hotel California. It's a good ways off the road, which is kind of nice because you don't hear all the highway traffic. And uh, very peaceful back here. Over there again, nothing but farm fields and cows. And we'll get a close-up of a cow here in a minute. Pretty cows. Or handsome cows. As you can see, the outdoor temperature is uh, 106.7 degrees. Wait a minute, that might be my radio station. Now here we go. This is where my little gator friend lives. It's nothing but a little retention pond. The right size for him. I'll give you a better look here in just a second. There's the highway. Here's a better look at the retention pond. Notice I'm staying in the air conditioning. Okay, we're outdoors. Looking at the retention pond. Oops. Wish I would have read that before I went swimming today. See the park back in the distance. Very secluded. Well, we're on our way back into the park. Nothing too exciting to show you today because of the heat. We've been getting a lot of rain, but the last two days have been like this, beautiful and sunny, warm and humid. Now we'll go meet a cow. Ready? There's George's house. Good friend of mine, taught me a lot about trailer park living. Okay, now we got to be quiet because we're going to sneak up on some wild cows. There they are. A whole pack of them. What's the matter? Hi guys. Well, how about I just zoom in instead of running y'all off? Hmm. How about that? in the shade trying to get warm. That's what happens when you don't have thumbs. Oh look, a little baby. Well, I've disturbed their serenity, so I guess I'll move on. Ah, there's a little pity baby. Hey there, fella. Hi. Great big fella. Wouldn't want to have to lock horns with him. No pun intended. Bye, cows. Let's go see if we can find us some exotic birds. There's a lot of them around here, but normally in the mornings and in the evening. So we may have to. <coughs> Excuse me, come back later and I'll do my magic in the dark room. We have four sandhill cranes, a mommy, a daddy, and two teenagers. Uh, I'll get them in the morning for sure. They're always walking across the park. And uh, here we are back to the uh, park again where we started well I couldn't pass that up two turtle doves in a palm tree well looky what I found 
and there they are hiding in the shade Let's see if we can get a closer look they're here every day Beautiful birds and mean. You're not supposed to feed them down here because if they get used to feeding on your property and you're not there to feed them when they're hungry, they'll tear your screens out. They're pretty, pretty demanding when they're hungry. Get out of the road, you big dummies. Okay, I'm going to cut across back to my crib, which is right in front of us. Sorry about all the noise. I don't have my seat belt on. Well, all in all, I think this has been a pretty good day. Got to show you around the park a little bit. Show you some really cool birds, my favorites. Uh, Pissed my new neighbor off. I've known her five days and she already unfriended me on Facebook. Never talk politics. Ever. With anybody. Fastest way to lose friends there is. But either way, I got to make a uh, short movie that very few people will care about. That's what I call a productive day. Very productive day. Anyway, Hope some of you enjoyed it. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.